My name is Peter. I have an above average number of arms, legs, eyes, testicles, pens, and probably shoes lining my hallway. I also bought above average quality paints for this painting. In fact, I bought very nice paints. Golden, heavy body acrylic paints. I actually don't know what that means, the, the heavy body part. I just googled what are good acrylic paints for painting with, and this was one of the top answers that I kept seeing. So I went out, I splurged, I spoiled myself a little bit, maybe invested in myself, because in the past, when I checked in with painting every now and then, which is something I do, just check in with painting to see if anything's changed with either painting or me to see if maybe we're a little bit more compatible than the last time we hung out. In the past, I've used pretty cheap paints and I wanted to see if maybe it would make a difference this time to use pretty expensive paints. And I think it does make a difference. Maybe the pigments are a little bit more potent and the colors don't get muddy as easily when you mix them and I'm not the best at mixing colors a lot of the time I just kind of do it on the swing on the fly as I paint the picture maybe if I wanted some consistency across the whole painting I'd mix a bunch of it of, of each color I wanted at the beginning but I don't know what I'm doing at the beginning I approach painting a lot like I approach the rest of my art but it still looks very different I almost feel like I'm a completely different person, if not only a completely different artist when I'm sitting here painting. I did this painting because I sold one of my other paintings and so I had an empty blank space on the wall. I thought I could fill this empty blank space. Also in the back of my mind, I was thinking I could make a painting for some of my friends to hang in their house, but uh, if you wait to the end of this painting, you'll see that it turned out looking a little bit weird. After I posted this on Instagram and Twitter, I got a lot of different results and it seemed to be a lot of other people agreed with me in a lot of different ways that they thought it looked fleshy or sexual or maybe like half digested food in some way. It just looks weird in a lot of different ways. To be honest, I started out trying to paint a flower and uh, <laughs> that's just not how it ended up. That's okay. Maybe it could still be a flower. There are a lot of things in the human body that are kind of like flowers. I'm okay with all of it. I, I don't like to guide my art too much. I like it when it guides me and takes me somewhere instead. It's a little bit more exciting and unexpected that way. I do have a kind of whimsical and romantic notion of me being a painter in either an alternative universe or a future lifetime where I sit in a cloudy attic somewhere with paintings and sun streaking in through one window to illuminate my work and stacks leaning against the walls and I chain smoke cigarettes and I just sit in there for hours and hours every day. No cameras, no internet, I just sit there on a little wooden chair with the easel in front of me and I get covered in paint. I don't know, I probably saw that scene in a movie somewhere and it stuck in my head and I, and I wanted it for myself. But sticking my toe into painting every now and then like this is doing me for now. And I think I have seen some improvements and progress since the last time I tried painting. So here's until next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.